Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it, I am Penj and welcome back to Farm Manager 2018 and the Brewing and Winemaking DLC and I think it's safe to say so far in that little mini series that a look at the new DLC we have focused mostly on the beer. We have focused on the hops and making beer over here in a lovely little craft brewery and that's been working quite well. So we had a year of them working away making us some lovely beers and now this year's come around and they're carrying on, they're making some more beers because we've got some hops for them to do so which is good it's fine this thing is ticking over quite nicely they're making what they're making pilsner malt barley chinook and citra beer and they're whacking it in a bottle with a label that's potentially slightly too big but that's funny it wraps around that's what it is it wraps around the sides so it's all good they're making the beer today the focus is going to shift very much onto the wine because at long last we've got some grapes ready we tried to plant some grapes last year but i did it too late did it too late in the year and they died in the winter frost they all sort of froze and it wasn't very good so now these ones here are ready for harvesting which is very exciting so these are the cabernet sauvignons Am I saying that right? Possibly not. I don't really drink wine. I don't really know much about this. So the Cabernet Sauvignons are ready to be harvested. These are Malbecs. They are ready in 37 days. Last time out, we constructed our lovely winery just here. We need some people to put in the winery, but that's fine. We can sort that out. And we've got ourselves a wine cellar. So yes, beer is done. Beer is old hat. It's sort of working away merrily over there today is all about wine. It's all about a lovely glass of red, because I think these are red, aren't they? Yes, a lovely glass of red. Now, the first thing we need to do, really, is harvest these, but also we need some people in here. So if we start this going for harvesting, so if we go, yes, you as machines and harvest this, please. Uh, Mila and Jake, yep, absolutely. You get on with doing that, please. So whilst they're doing that, move time on, because I'd paused it, uh, let's get some more people in here. So we need three people, or we can have three people in there. How many people have we got working in here? Two. We've only got two people working in here. If we added a third person, we could, in theory, be making more beer. So how about we get... Have we got room for four people? How many people are in this house? Ah, that's perfect. That is perfect. So there's four people in this house. So we can get another four people, put one more person in the little brewery, and three people into the winery. Okay, well, that works quite nicely. So workers, let's hire some workers who are good at production based things um yeah darcy will do you're quite good 502 yes we'll hire you absolutely go into house number one thank you there was someone here megan woodward 599 but she does have the the uh, strength skill i'm not that bothered about the strength skill good grief you're very expensive 779 Good lord. Okay, no, right, okay. So we're going to have to try and do this little sort of fudge of farm manager where you go back in, it refreshes the list entirely. Lots of people waiting for jobs around here. Um, okay, is there anyone that's actually affordable? You, you'll do. Lowry Wells, yeah, Lowry, how we pronounce it. That'll do. Uh, nope, right, again, nobody. We need two more people. Come on, come on. While they're doing the harvesting, you do not have a skill in manufacturing. Stop lying on your CV. You've got a skill of nothing out of five. That does not compute. Um, nope, no one in there. How's the harvesting going? Um, oh, there you go. Yeah, so one person's driving the tractor with the trailer. The other person is just driving this thing kind of through the middle of the vines. I mean, is that how that actually works? Surely they're going to crush the vines with this thing. Surely, unless... Oh, no, there's a sort of a, a gap down the middle, look. There's a bit where they must drive over. Oh, is it like a sort of little... That's interesting. I, I don't really know how this works. I, I never really realised there was a mechanised thing for this, but I guess there must be. But look, so it must drive through the middle, and that must scoop all the grapes off and stores them somewhere. And then at some point, they're going to, to need to empty those grapes out into the trailer just here. Okay, that's fine. You carry on. You crack on doing that. Uh, right, we need two more people. Two more people. Come on, there must be somebody. There you go. You, Eva Webb. Hello, Eva. And the last person. Uh, Seren Baker. Yeah, you'll do. Whatever. I'm, I'm all right with it now. It's fine. Good. And now, let's find the people. So let's go to the staff list. Let's find all our new bods. So, Darcy King. Uh, yeah, promote you. Yes. Ah, oh, it goes out the screen, doesn't it, every time. <laughs> ah, there we go. Right. Larry, Laurie, Wells, whatever. Yes, do that. Uh, and staff list. Back down to the bottom. Eva Webb. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Just maximise your skill in manufacturing, because why not? Oh, no, hang on. There we go. That's the correct list. And then you, Ms. Baker. Buh, 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 buh. Right, okay. So we spend a little bit of money on training everyone up. But I think in the long run, it's probably a good thing. Right, okay. Which lucky person is going to go and work in the brewery? Um, How about... Who have we got? Fion 
Alice. And there's a lot of ladies in the production industry, isn't there? There's no blokes in the production industry. It's all ladies. So we've got uh, Fionn Gordon, Alice Shepard. All right, Saren Baker, you can go into there. Lovely. Uh, so you're working in there. Now, yeah, you don't have the strength skill. I'm not that fast. Do you know what we could? We could move Fionn Gordon, who's got a bit of the strength skill, over into there. And then at least each building, so the brewery and the winery, will have somebody with the strength skill. Ah, oh, that's a good plan. Let's do that. So let's put Lowry into there. Oh, Lowry. I think it's Lowry, is it? So Lowry Wells, Alice Shepard with the strength skill, Seren Baker in there. And then here we go then, new people moving in. So Fionn and Darcy and Eva can all work in the winery. Okay, so now I would say, have we got grapes? Are there grapes in here now? Yes, we have 4,224 kilograms of Cabernet Sauvignon. So 4,224 vines have been harvested. Okay, right on. Pause a second then. So now we need to make we need to make a drink. So let's oh hang on, choose a label. This is very important. I mean, okay, the beer, the beer and the wine are gonna look the same. It's gonna look very, very familiar, but that's still good. At least we can do that. So can we just make one? Do we just make one blend? I mean, do you blend wine? I didn't really think you blended wine, but okay. Well, let's do that then. So we'll have that for now. And then when they're harvested, because they can start working on this now, they can just make some straight Cabernet Sauvignon wine. And then when these are ready, we'll then add another blend and we'll start making a different type of wine. But yeah, okay, do that then, please. And now in there, can I see? Oh, hang on, we could put the beer at the top. Can I put the wine at the top yet? No, because I've not made any yet. Okay, right. Now, the plan is absolutely speed time forward and see what happens here. Let's get some wine made. Uh, there's no no sort of uh, complicated stuff here either. Like there was, is in the brew where you need the malts and all that kind of stuff. The wine is just, here you go, put... Oh, it fills the bottle up. Oh, check that out. I didn't realise that. Look, the, bo the bottle is slowly... Well, the bottom of the bottle slowly filled up. Hang on, hang on. There we go, look. It's filling up with red wine. Oh, that's a nice little touch. That's quite lovely. Okay, I didn't realise it did that. I wonder if it does that with the beer. I wonder if you can see the beer filling up. But I think we've made ourselves... Yay, our very first wine. <laughs> we've, got, we've got 93 units of wine. Okay, this is very good. Um, can we put it into the thing? Uh, no, because it's not in the warehouse, I don't believe. Yeah, I think what happens is when they move the stuff into the warehouse... You can then go, yes, yeah, so I'll have it on this sort of uh, little toolbar thing at the top. If it's not in the warehouse, I don't think you can put it onto this list. Also, there's some strawberries to be harvested. Will do. Absolutely. You lot crack on with that. Uh, these things here do have um, harvesting sort of signs on top of them, but we're not going to harvest them because the bees are still using them to make lovely, lovely, nice honeys. What else is going on? How many days until that's ready? 22 days for that. 31 days for that. So a little while to go yet. Now, do they put them in the wine cellar? Is that where they store these things? I assume they're going to take the wine straight from straight from the winery and put it in the wine cellar. And I think they just went and got some, some grapes, did they? They certainly went into there. Did they add some more grapes or something? There's already a thousand kilograms of grapes in there. Good grief. <laughs> okay. They're working their way through them, though. It's all good. It's all good. And um, yeah, maybe they don't. How do I tell them to use this? Or do they automatically put them into the winery? I don't know. That'll be a thing we can look at. In the meantime, let's sell those strawberries because otherwise they're going to go off. And that would be unfortunate. Three and a half grand for all those strawberries. That's quite nice. Any good prices on the um, on the honey at the minute? Oh, multiflower honey. We don't have a lot of it. But uh, yeah, I'm selling it while it's high. I'm selling the, pri I'm selling the, the uh, honey while it's got a nice high price. Right, beer. Beer prices of different blends are different costs, which is a little bit weird because it's just beer three blends. They're sort of all the same sort of thing. But okay, let's sell that for 3,000. Uh, let's sell that one for 2,000. And let's sell that one. There's a few more units of this for 5,000. There we go. So we've made our money back pretty much on training all of the production people. So yeah, now we should be making quite a lot of lovely things. Have we moved any of these bottles out yet? No. No, we have not. So there you go. A one blended. Is it blended if it's just one type of thing? It's not really a blend, is it? Style, dry rosé, alcohol, 12%. A <laughs> little bit like all the beer is as well. Bottle size, 75 centiliters, I suppose that is. And aged one year. Now, one thing I would like is, can you change the bottle size? I bet we can't do anything as clever as that, can we? I bet we can't change the bottle size. Never mind. Uh, right, okay. When does all that stuff go off? 
have a quick check of this. If we sell that, the barley goes off relatively, well, in a couple of months. That goes off in a couple of months. That goes off in a couple of months. Yeah, October's kind of the time when things go off. Okay, right. Oh, let's sell more multiflower honey while it's still at a nice high price. Okay, so now we need to wait. Oh, all these things have come to sort of fruition, have they? Right, okay, right. You do that one first, and then we'll work on all of those. Not long until the uh, Cascade hops are done. Not long until the Malbec's done. I really want them to put some wine. I want them to take it out of here and move it somewhere. There's now 562 bottles of wine in there. Can you move it into the wine cellar? Or do something with it so I can put it on this list up here? Because it still is not appearing. Because it's all still locked away in the winery. Oh, oh! did you go and move it? Oh no, that's the strawberries. That That's strawberries that you've harvested. No, I put the... Put the wine in there. Uh, okay, right. One lot of strawberries harvested. Do that lot of strawberries, please. Yes, absolutely. Go forth and do those ones. And then we'll sell all the strawberries in one big go. Because they should be able to do that fairly quickly. What I thought. Oh, right. You've just moved something. Ah, ha, ha. Right, okay. We've got wine in the wine cellar. Okay. How much does wine go for? Because now we should, in theory, be able to sell this. So if we go down to... To... Wine... Which we don't seem to be able to sell. <laughs> which, is, which is of interest. Um, okay, right, hang on, hang on. Right, sell, sell, sell the strawberries. We've got two lots of the strawberries to sell. Lovely. Nice bit of money's there, keeping it all going, paying wages and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Wine isn't really jumping out at me. Ooh, 20 grand off the beer, though. Thank you very much, beer. I shall certainly take that. That is very lovely. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit confused. Fungus on your field. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, right, hang on, hang on. Slow time down. A big bar has appeared at the top of the screen. Oh, I, is that a console? I never knew there was a farm manager console. Okay, fine. Uh, right, fungus on the field. Uh, go and sort that out, please. Anti-fungus malarkeys. Go and do that. Uh, and then some people can go and work on this, which is lovely. So, yep, you go and do that as well, please, because that is the, the best thing to do right now. Get those peppers out. Continue that growing cycle. Now, now, why why can't we sell the wine? Why can't we do this? Do we just leave it there for a bit? Um, it go. I mean, it goes off in quite a long time. It goes off in 10 years. <laughs> We've got a little while to sell it. But the only thing is, what if I want to move some of it? Uh, click with shift to move resources. Right, hang on. Right, let's pin that, and then let's open this up, and we'll pin that. Now, can we move, click with shift, can we move that over there? Click. Uh, no. <laughs> that did not work at all. In fact, all it did was close the window down. Click with shift to move resources. Okay, I'm holding shift, I'm going to click, uh, and it vanishes. I see. Right, okay. That's not really working as I was expecting it to, but never mind. Oh, you've got a little tiny box of wine into the wine cellar with you. Can we see inside? It just looks... Uh, well, inside looks sort of unfinished. We won't look inside again. It's all fine. Let's pretend we didn't look inside. So now we've got a lot of wine in there. I still don't... Can we sell any now? Now there's two lots in there? I'd like to sell some wine, please. We're making a lot of wine. Maybe you have to leave it for a year. Maybe it has to be left for a full year before they can sort of sell it or something. I'm not entirely sure. I was, I was kind of hoping we could move it. But yeah, click with shift to move result. You click with shift and it just, it just sort of bins the, the whole screen. Yeah, it does that on any of these things, whether you want to move the fungus round or anything. Uh, what if you right click? Right click does the same thing. Uh, okay, right, hang on. Is, I'm using left shift. Is it right shift? Uh, no, that just takes you weird enough to the market, which doesn't seem to make any sense at all. Hello, I'd like to do that, please. Sell. Uh, yeah, okay. It's acting a little bit obscure. <laughs> it's acting a bit weird, but right you are. Okay, let's get ourselves these red peppers sold. Let's sell those. They're selling for a good price. There we go. Lovely, lovely. All gone. Um... We've still got a little while to go until everything else is going to sort of uh, be ready for harvest. So, okay, right. Well, let's just bosh time on as fast as we can do it right now. Then we can do the super speed one. So we'll do it right now. We'll run time on. We'll see what happens. We'll see if at any point we can actually sell this wine. I'm a bit confused. Maybe we just have to leave it. 
But now they're sort of bundling up into different kind of groups. Why is that wine different to that wine and that wine? Why is all the wine all different? What's going on with the wine? Oh, I sold the red peppers when they weren't fully harvested. Okay, fine. Get some more money out of them. I sold four grand out of those peppers. So what did we get? About five and a bit grand out of those all those red peppers? That's pretty good. And this field here is almost ready for harvesting. So yes, the hops that are called Cascade, Cascade Resonance hops are ready. Now, of course, there's me. I was I was, um, I was, just pondering what was going on with the farm. I was sort of thinking, well, we've got that and that in and we'll do some wine. We'll see what we can do. Of course, there is another building that we have not yet constructed that I've completely forgotten about. If we go and look into here and look in the production buildings, there is the big industrial brewery. It's 300,000 of your monies. It might take us a little while to get there, but I want one of those in as well. That's the final bit of the DLC that I'd completely overlooked. I'd completely forgotten that was a thing. Right, hang on, hang on. Right, get this. Uh, go to there. Go to machines and get us some of that, please. So yeah, I'd like to get the, um, the industrial brewery in as well. Now, I was kind of hoping that we might be able to get enough money from selling all the beer and the wine and everything else. But um, yeah, it's not really working for us, is it? It's not particularly working because we can't sell the wine. Also, if we stop making that particular blend of beer, that's a bit tedious, isn't it? Um, oh, hang on. Hang on, have we stopped making beer altogether? Have we stopped making beer? No, there's a lot of beer. Uh, no, that just didn't look like it was moving. Oh, it is now. They must have just been having a little break. <laughs> maybe, they're, maybe they're having comfort breaks or something. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, how long until that? Six days. Six days. So, yeah, this is very well timed. So, now we've got a load of new hops. So, let's just chuck them into there. Right, they are in. We've harvested all those hops. Now, time to change things around. Pause time for a second. We've got to take out either the, the, the uh, Chinooks or the Citras. I don't really know the difference. Let's stop making that. Let's remove the Chinooks and let's add in the Cascades like so. So we'll go, yay, Cascade things are in. And we'll start that and we'll see if that makes a difference. So this is going to stop beer production temporarily because they're going to have to go and get all the new things in. So yeah, we're going to have to go and get anyone. Do you want to go and get the new things? Do you want to go and get the Cascade things? No. Just not bothered right now, huh? No, don't, really don't care. Okay, you're bringing in lots of things from up there. What are you guys bringing in? What are they bringing in? That must be the malt stuff. They must be the people in the mill. Right, there we go. Have you bought in some of the hops? No, again, yeah, I think you're moving the beer over. Maybe you're moving the beer around, the little people with these little boxes. But okay, right, eventually at some point they will move. <laughs> they will move some of the hops over, some of the cascade hops. That will deplete and they'll put it in there and they'll start going. Right. Can we sell the wine? This is this is now the question. No, we cannot. We can sell an awful lot of beer for oh goodness me for quite a lot of money. Okay, that three hundred grand industrial brewery does not actually look that far off, and particularly given the amount of honey and stuff we've got as well, we've got an awful lot of that, quite a lot of that, quite a lot of that as well. Let's sell that for another six grand, which is lovely. That's paying wages and stuff. Um, yeah, can you guys? Can you guys get on with that now? Can you take the take the right things in? Cascade are in. Right, lovely. Okay, good. So now you're making some new exciting beer. That does mean if we're not using the... We're using Cascade and Citra. If we're not using the Chinook hops for anything, why don't we just sell them? Why don't we just sell those hops? Because the price is coming down anyway. We might as well sell them. That's four grand for those, for the Chinook hops. Might as well. They're not doing anything else. We might as well make good use of them. So now we've got the Cascade Hops and whatever those other ones were again. The Citra Hops. There's plenty of those in there right now. Yeah, there's quite a lot of hops around. And there's still some Chinook Hops in there in sort of storage. So, right. This is now this is now the thing. Maybe we can't sell wine until it's aged to a certain level. I don't know. However, the Malbec is also ready for harvesting. Give us some more stuff. Uh, okay, strawberries. Yeah, we'll get those. There's only a couple of people because one of the uh, folks is going to be sat on the back of the truck. Um, no, nope, they're, they're not sat on the back. They're probably driving the tractor, which is fine. That's good. So we've only got two people harvesting the strawberries in there. So yeah, the wine is the wine is now perplexing me because we have an awful lot of wine. <laughs> we've got a lot of wine now. And, um, and, and I'd like to sell some of that wine. We've got even more beer, but it, I don't know how. I'm not, oh, look at it. We've got all sorts of crazy wine going on. But yeah, I, I don't seem to be able to sell it. Um, yeah, I'd like 
I'd like to be able to, maybe we need to leave it a certain amount of time. Aged, one year, 25th of the 8th, 2019, to 24th of the 8th, 2020. Do you have to leave it for a full year? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, however, let's stop making our single blend of, uh, of wine. Let's mix it up now with some Malbec. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It does say barrel aged one year just there. Maybe we can't. Maybe it has to be aged at least one year before we can sell the wine. Maybe that's a thing that we have to do. Okay, right, well, fine. Well, let's just uh, let's just uh, shift your time on a little bit there. We've got some strawberries to harvest for what seems like pittance now compared to the rest of the things that we're making money off. Ooh, and the raspberries are ready as well. When were they ready? Possibly should have noticed that before, but never mind. Right, when they finish doing the strawberries, we'll get the raspberries. In fact, no, we'll do the raspberries next because we might get another crop of raspberries out and they're very profitable. We like the money from the raspberries. So put them in there and you. So we've got strawberries going in. Two lots of strawberries. Right, okay. Two lots of strawberries are ready. Pause time for a second just so they don't go off. Right, get that done, please. So three people, tractor driver. Yeah, go for it. Go, go for it. Fill your boots. In the meantime, we will sell ourselves the strawberries. Oh, they're fetching a good price against strawberries. Summertime has rolled round. Everyone's loving the strawberries. Colza prices are going up, which is nice. Multiflower honey, oh, is absolutely tanking, but never mind. Uh, beer prices are, oh, very high. 95 grand, yes, absolutely. I will sell all of that beer for 95 grand. Thank you very much, bye-bye. Okay, um, wine. Hang on, what? Wine? Where's wine on the list? Where's what? I'm very confused. It says wine, one blend. I can sell 187 units of wine, but it's not on here. What's going on? And that's that wine. So it seems to imply that I can sell the wine. Maybe it's gone a bit weird. It's not appearing in here. Um, it's not foliages or anything, is it? It's production. But no, the wine is not appearing. <laughs> Maybe it just can't sell the wine. I don't, I don't know anymore. I'm not entirely sure. Let's keep selling that. That's another two grand. We'll sell all that beer as well, just to get it out of the way. That's another 2,700 of your money. So that's fine. This pills and malt barley stuff's going well. Can we sell 1,500 units of that for six and a half grand? Why not? Absolutely. 231,000 monies we've got now. And we haven't sold these two big blocks of honey either. That one's a little bit down the multiplier. But I mean, look, the, which one's that? The buckwheat honey. We've got absolutely loads of that. <laughs> want to make sure the price is good and we'll sell that. We've got raspberries coming up. These fetch a pretty good price as well. So I think at some point relatively soon we will probably be okay to build ourselves the big industrial brewery thing. However, it's not going to be able to do much, is it, until next year. It might be better for us to keep the money until the next year rolls around. So get through winter. There we go. Raspberries are in. Right, okay, right. Tell me that the raspberries are harvested. Lovely. Right, let's go and just sell the raspberries quick because we might as well. Um, sell all Sell raspberries. Oh, the price is right. 28 and a half grand for raspberries. Do we leave them for a week and see whether that price goes up? I'm very tempted to just leave it for a bit and see what happens. Because at the minute, what are they? 18.39. Yeah, let's... Ah, oh, and it's come down. Hang on. If I sell it now, I can sell it for the same price, I believe. Look, when I do sell, it takes me back to the wine. Okay. Sell some wine. I don't know if we can do... I don't really understand that, but okay, fine. Right, we've got some strawberries. Yes, it's all sort of ticking over quite nicely. So these aren't going to grow back, are they? These are perennial. So they're done now. I think the hops are also perennial. Yep, so they're all done as well. So we've got ourselves almost 260 grand. We're going to want to build the big brewery thing maybe here. Let's maybe just get the road in place just so we know where it's going to go. So the big brewery thing can go here, the industrial one, because it's still near all the resource buildings and all the hops and all that kind of stuff. So that's good. Oh, have some strawberries. Thank you very much. So, uh, right, what we could do is, to also give us some other stuff to do. Yep, sell those. Lovely, lovely. Uh, we could get ourselves an orchard, or we could up here get a third type of wine. We could get another field of grapes in. 
because why not? There's no reason why we shouldn't do that, in fact. So let's go forth and do that. Let's just get ourselves another field of the grapes. There we go. And then we'll zone out a field right in the middle of there. However big that can go, we will have it as that big, please. So there we go. Uh, 50 by 28. Absolutely perfect. We get some money back from the trees. Right, well, let's start working on this. Do we need to do it now? Yeah, because they'll be ready to grow next year. So, yes, we'll do it now. So, get all that sorted, please. The tractors and stuff aren't redoing anything now. How long until they're ready? 40 days. Yeah, we'll get another growth out of them, probably. Out of the raspberries. That's pretty good going. That's quite nice. So, yeah, if we get those in now, it's October. So, if we try, if we try our very best to get this these grapes in. And then I would love to get us an orchard. I would love a little orchard somewhere of uh, cherries were quite profitable, weren't they? Oh, what, no, pears. Pears were very profitable. So let's get an orchard. The only thing for that is we need an orchard tractor, don't we, actually? Am I making things more complicated? Am I making things more complicated than they need to be? Because I don't think you can use those tractors in an orchard, can you? Because they're too big. They're too big and cumbersome. Uh, yeah, go back out and do that, please. Quicker, quick. Time's moving on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, also, we're not making any wine. We're not making any wine. That number has not gone up. Oh, unless this is... Oh, no, that's the Cabernet... Ah, yes, of course. That is the Cabernet Sauvignon on its own. But now we've got a two blended of two blend wine that we can also sell. So has that gone in here as well? Yes, it has. Um, Yeah, can we sell them yet? Uh, he says, full well knowing that the answer is going to be no, you can't sell them. No, still no wine. Got quite a bit of beer that we could sell on. Yeah, we'll have that. Thank you. How's the honey looking? Um, oh, right. Also, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Right, pause time. The Cabernet Sauvignon grapes are going off. We'll get five grand for those. Yes. Maybe we need to leave it as late as possible. How many have they got in there? Yeah, they've not got a lot in there. Guys, could you take out some of the grapes that are in storage over here? And put them into there, please. Because everything seems to last forever when you put them into a sort of a production building. It's all good. Uh, we'll have the irrigation system. Thank you very much. Uh, and manure and... Oh, no, no, no. Auto fill with machines, please. <laughs> Don't go and do that by hand. That might take quite a long time. Um, yeah, can we move them in, please? Because it's going to go off and you're going to run out soon. Uh, yeah, they're not going to move over. They're not going to run out in time. So I'm going to have to sell the Cabernet Sauvignon grapes. Which means then we're just left with Malbec. So we'll have another wine type. We've got so much wine. So much wine. It's party time here on the alcohol farm. Uh, but okay, right. So that just needs to tick over. I need to keep an eye out for the 15th when those things are going to go off. What else is going off soon then? It was the, all the hops and stuff were going off as well, weren't they? Oh, that's December. Um, oh yeah, we sold the other hops, didn't we? And that's 23rd of November. Okay, so there's a little bit of time left for those things. Okay, how's the beer looking? Yeah, another 26 grand for the beer. It's very, very welcome indeed. This is good. Uh, right, get that planted. Get these in. Okay, let's choose a different thing. Um, well, we've kind of gone down the red route, haven't we? We've gone down the route of red wine. And it seems that the winery can only make one type of wine at a time. Yeah, so you can only make reds or whites. I don't know what happens if you mix a red and a white grape. These are obviously two reds. What happens if you just mix them together? Uh, should, we, uh, should we try it for fun? Let's try it for fun. Why not? For, for experimentation, for science. Uh, let's pick a white a Chardonnay. I know what that is. Chardonnay makes makes champagne, uh, doesn't it? Is that not what they use for that? So let's have that. Uh, Chardonnay, please. Yes, yeah, I'll buy 950 units of Chardonnay, which seems very expensive. But okay, that's fine. Wait for the little truck to arrive. It's not you. I think you're collecting stuff, aren't you? Yep, so wait for the little delivery van to arrive. It's probably you. And lovely. I believe that is in. So let's grab ourselves 950 units of that. Plant it with the uh, machinery we have. And go forth. At least that'll be in. So it's not going to grow this year, obviously. But it'll be in for next year's efforts. Which is very, very good. And then we've got ourselves this as well. We've got so many types of wine. Why is it just bundled them all up? Or have they got different end dates? They've got different sort of expiry dates, which is all a bit weird. But okay, right. Well, we might as well take wine off the top because we don't... That's sort of irrelevant, isn't it, really, at the top there? We don't really need that. Um, let's take a look at... Uh, let's take a look at getting ourselves... Um, yeah, I do kind of want an orchard. 
But then the only thing is, yeah, we have to have an orchard tractor. Do we have enough room for an orchard tractor? That is small. Uh, that isn't a vehicle thing at all. We don't. We don't have room for an orchard tractor unless one of those things can fit into the uh, into there somewhere, into the small garage, which I don't think they can. They're all medium or large, aren't they? Yeah, that's, that thing is huge. Um, or can we harvest? I really can't remember now. I probably did know this back at, back at this time last year when I played this quite a lot. I probably did know the answer as to whether you can use the bigger tractors to um, to work in the orchards. But part of me thinks no. Part of me thinks no, we cannot. Let's have a look here. Let's go to tractors. And there's an orchard tractor which can get all of these things. So it can, it can get apples and it can get cherries and all that kind of stuff. So it can be used for planting them, I believe, or getting the actual cherries out. What if we click on the Riga tractor? Uh, it can do apples. It can seem to be doing the same thing. It can seemingly do exactly the same stuff. Uh, but I can't scroll down that list for some reason. Uh, ah, can it use the orchard sprayer? Do we need an orchard sprayer? Possibly we might need an orchard sprayer. Do you know what? To heck with it. Let's do it. Let's make an orchard. Let's just make a great big... Let's make a massive orchard. Because why not? We've got the money for it and we'll get the money back. Let's make a big orchard for no reason at all. And we'll try and get it planted. So next year, hopefully, it will grow. Which will be lovely. Aha! And these are in. So also, yeah, this is a bit pointless. Don't bother trying to grow grapes. Just have a little sleep, would you? So um, next year, we'll have Chardonnay ready as well. Got some strawberries to harvest. Rock on. There we go. Uh, right, okay. Let's try and get this orchard field done. And while they're working on that, let's take a look at the market as to what sells well. So let's have a look. Apples. Uh, apples are selling... Okay, but I suppose this time of year they're not great, are they? Cherry. Cherries are better than apples. Pears. As I remember, pears were the, were big, weren't they? Pears were the big sellers. They're all about the same, actually. So they're all more or less the same sort of thing. Uh, yeah, well, let's do that then. Let's get pears. Why not? Let's just let's have a little... Oh, I say a little... A big old pear orchard. But they do need to work on this field really, really quickly so we can get it all planted and in before... It gets wintry and cold and everything goes all bad and wrong. So chop, chop, drive your tractor a bit quicker, please. Oh, winning all my jibber-jabbering, getting this field sorted. I forgot to sell off the grapes. Oh, never mind. We might just lost out on some monies there. Oh, well, botherations. <laughs> never mind. Right, pin that for a second. So what are they working on in here now? Have they ran out of the Cabernet Sauvignon? Oh, no, did they go and grab some more? Oh, they might have gone and grabbed the Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh, that's quite good. So maybe we didn't miss out. Yeah, because that's certainly more than it was. So maybe they did go and grab the last of the Cabernet Sauvignon and put it into here rather than it just go off and go to waste. So now the Malbec will last a little while longer. We've got a month or so on that, which is fine. Oh, okay, good. Right, I'm not so bothered about that now. I'm, I'm okay with that. Right, so the big thing is now get this field done. Right, plough. Plough the field. Also put the irrigation system on the field. Oh, no, not plough. Cultivate even one of them. Do do a thing to fill with a the tractor. There you go. All that stuff. Uh, also, yeah, more strawberries. Grab the strawberries. It's all go all of a sudden. It's kind of harvest time on the farm. Although we don't have that much in the way of stuff to harvest. Twenty three days until more raspberries. Yeah, I think we'll get another lot of raspberries out before winter rise, and then that will be it for those. Uh, we've got some peppers as well. Okay, right. Let's get this field done. Let's get this field ready to get stuff planted in it. Okay, all those peppers are harvested, which should free up enough workforce for us to go and plant our pear saplings. So there we go. We've not got the thing. What do we need to plant? Pears. Oh, an orchard plant. Oh, 400 monies. Yeah, I think we can afford that. And it can go in the small garage. Hooray! It actually worked. We did a thing that actually worked. Okay, come out of that for now. Uh, fungus on your field. Oh, I don't care about that field. Whatever. Yeah, never mind. Bye-bye. Yep, yeah, the fungus can stay. Maybe Can we not harvest that? People buy pay good money for mushrooms. Can we not actually just make use of that? Right, I think that's in. I think our planter is in. So, yeah, let's plant these now. So, plant pear saplings with machines. Go forth. Yes, you lot can all do that. Thank you very much. Whilst you're doing that... One person can go into here and, yep, Millie, there you go. You can go and just grab some strawberries all on your lonesome. It's all fine. We will sell those peppers because they're selling at a pretty good price, which is nice. Um, 
a little while until these things all go off. Uh, let's check the honey prices. That's all right. Oh, that's quite good. Hire any employee. Oh, you could have done that at the start of the year, couldn't you? Never mind. Bye-bye. Uh, Multiflower honey is the price of that is absolutely collapsed. Coles are selling well. I'm tempted to just get rid of that for 18 and a half grand. Yeah, let's just do that. Bosh, gone. 237 grand we're on. And we've not sold great big deals of stuff that we've got. Oh, we've got some Chardonnay seedlings, which we, for some reason, were left over. But did we order the wrong amount or whatever? I don't know. But okay, we'll sell those. That's fine. We'll make a bit of money off those. We've got so much stuff left. Now, how much do we make from the hops? 10 grand from that. We'd make another 6 grand from the wine. That's 16 grand. We could sell another few, I don't know, let's sell 1,000 units of that stuff. The Pilsner malt barley that we're still sort of uh, producing. Now, is there still barley? Ah, no, the mill, the mill has nothing in it anymore. So, yeah, so we need to make some, um, we need to buy ourselves some barley. Okay, we'll go to there. Barley, 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 just there. Uh, let's buy two and a half thousand units of it, please. Why the heck not? That'll do. Uh, we've got strawberries to sell. Sell the strawberries. Yes, please. While they're still getting a vaguely good thing. Too low temperature. Did we just get those in in time? I think we might have just scraped getting the pear orchard ready. Phew. Okay, wow. <laughs> that was close then. That was very, very close. Okay. Okay, that's good. So that can continue to grow. Three lots of grapes, which is nice. Uh, three lots of hop fields. A nice little, bit little orchard coming in there. Scare the birds, which are destroying your fields. What? Whoa, 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 birds. Shoo, 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 shoo. What's this? I've never seen this little mini game before. That must be a new game. Oh, good. We've, we've, we've scared the birds, which are destroying my field. Success. Do I get anything for that? No, I just get the pride of having my field not utterly annihilated. Good grief, the, the quality of that has been absolutely hammered. Hang on, why is that coming down? Is it just because the temperature's coming down? Ah, because it's zero degrees C. That would be why. And everything is looking quite bad. Right, can we harvest these? Are we allowed to harvest the buckwheat? I mean, we might as well. Might as well get something out of it. <laughs> Sell some buckwheat for not very much money, but it's something. Yeah, the, the raspberries, I don't think, made it. Ah... Oh two days until they would have been ready but it's got cold in, you know, in november it's fine to be cold in november everything's kind of all going a bit brown looking and a little bit uncomfortably dead so um it'd be good if we get at least one of these fields done that would be fun there we go i think we've got some buckwheat if we under oh, no, need to rake it up quick get the rakes out rake quicker rakey rakey rake yeah there we go are you done piling it all up you must be finished by now are you finished yet come on bag it all up stick it in bags there we go, and put it in the warehouse, and it's done. Can we get Colza? Do you have a proper warehouse building or enough space in the warehouse? Build one. For what? For what? For this? Oh, no, we probably don't, do we? We probably do not have the right stuff for that, do we? Because we haven't got a barn. Because we don't need a barn, because we don't have sort of foliage. We don't have sort of, you know, wheat and straw and all that kind of stuff. So can we not put that in there? That is not good for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you know what then? I don't care. These can all just die, and that can probably die as well. <laughs> it's, it's all fine. Harvested crops. Yeah, there you go. It, there you go. It's gone. That's gone. We can't bail them. It, it's just all died, and that is absolutely fine. Uh, somebody has delivered the stuff back to the warehouse. So the warehouse. Yeah, there you go. The barley's going down, so they are able to produce more of the stuff, which is beautiful. And now it's just it's winter again. Winter has rolled around once more. So what have we got? 235 grand. Now let's pause time for a second. What can we sell? What can we sell that's going to go off? Right. The hop cascade stuff is probably going to go off. Right. Let's sell this buckwheat. Let's see what untold riches we can get for this. 36. Wow. <laughs> go us. Oh, party on us tonight. Uh, the beer might be selling okay. That beer is still... That, that, that's all right. Five grand for that beer. That's very welcome. That's no bad thing at all. A three blended beer. That price is a bit low. What's this? It's a three blended beer. Price has gone back up. Yeah, we'll sell that. That's fine. So we'll sell that off. Uh, and then what about the honey? That Oh, ooh, that's actually okay. The buckwheat honey is on a good price. The multiflower is not. The buckwheat is. We've got quite a lot of this. What do we get for that? 50 grand. <laughs> Good grief. Okay, fine. We've got 311,000 monies. Wow. Thank you, bees. Good old bees. 
Um, we are probably going to need... How much Malbec have they got in there? How much have you got? Oh, you've got quite a lot in there. You've got quite a lot. You're not going to need to go back and get some more Malbec, are you? Before the 23rd of the 11th. Right, okay, never mind. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll keep an eye on it. And just make sure that... Yeah, if they do need some, they can go back and stock up. But then we are going to have to sell the rest of those grapes before they go off. Because otherwise they're just wasted. Or can we eat them? Can we just throw a great big grape party or something? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it seems a shame to waste them. So we might as well flog them off to somebody. Hey, have these nearly out of date grapes. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Uh, okay, more selling of things. More selling of strawberries. Yay. Strawberries are still getting a pretty good price right now. Um, okay, right. What field's ready for harvesting? Some strawberries. Oh, okay. Right, fine. Yeah, we'll probably, we probably could just keep doing this now because this is going to be the wintry thing, isn't it? Just keeping this ticking over, getting these four things working, really. And then the beer will stop at some point. Although, to be fair, that's quite a lot of Chinook and Cascade. Hang on. Hang on. Whoa, whoa. Pause. Pause, 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 pause. Cascade and Citra. Are we out of Citra? Ah. Okay. Well, hang on. Remove that. Add Chinook. Uh, you have got Chinook hops. There's some inside the warehouse. There's some inside here. Look, they're just there. Use those, please. Yeah, there you go. Are you working out? Right, so we can still carry on making a little bit more beer. Not a lot, though, because that will come down. That will come down. Uh, right, I don't really know what else to do currently. Let's reject that for now, because we don't need any more employees currently. We just get rid of that little message thing popping up. It's all fine. I don't think we need to employ anyone else for a little... While oh, did I just do myself out of some money? Because of course we're going to build the big brewery thing down here. Never mind. P pretend that thing was never there. It's it's all fine. It's all fine. Nothing to see here. Move along. Okay, the multiflower honey has gone up in price to there. I'm going to sell that while it's at a sort of fairly decent price. 1871. I will gladly get rid of that because that clears this out. You know, we know where we are then. We've not got honey in storage and all that kind of stuff. We're still making some good beer. The beer isn't quite, the price has come down a little bit. So it's not quite as profitable as it was. Right, this Malbec, I don't think they're going to do anything with this, are they? And the price is coming down. Let's just sell that right now. And then we've got ourselves some more Cascade Hops, which go off on the 10th of the 12th. How are they looking for Cascade Hops in there? Um, they might want some more before the 10th of the 12th. They might want some more. But right now, the farm is just sort of quiet down. It's all quiet and down. So what I think we will do is, what I think the plan is, let's leave this for now. We'll leave winter. We'll finish the part. We'll finish this video. So it may be a shorter farm manager video. These normally go on for a bit. But this might be shorter. And we'll come back for the probably the final part. I say probably. It will be the final part. We shall build ourselves the big brewery to get that in. To see how that works. We might need to put another one of the little permanent employee house things. To get the people working in the brewery. But that is fine. I think we'll have enough money by the time that all that rolls round. We'll have quite a bit of cash money. Because we've got beer in reserve to sell as well. And then... By the time that comes round, so you know, the, the new year will start, the new farming year will start, we'll get that big building in. By that point, we should then see what happens with this wine. We'll see whether they then move it from the wine cellar into, say, the warehouse, where we can then sell it, and we'll see how much money we get. I mean, there is an awful lot of wine in there. There is an awful lot of wine. 5,577 units of wine. Five, they're just churning out wine. They're just making so much wine. It's all good. I mean, they are going to stop at some point soon, though. They are going to run out of the Cabernet Sauvignon grapes. So we'll have to switch that over to Malbec. But yeah, so when we come back next time out, it will be the start of the new growing season, wherever that might be, because it's coming up to the end of it really here, isn't it? Winter is on its way. So it'll be sort of March time when we rejoin Farm Manager. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll do all those things that I just said. But the big thing really is seeing what we get for the wine, because I, I'm a bit confused by it. I think that because in here, barrel aged one year, I think with that same one year, I think it, you can't sell it until it has been aged in whatever it is in I mean it's barrel age but we're putting them in bottles it's a bit confusing but whatever so um it has to be aged for at least a year so I think we need to wait for a year to roll around before we can sell all of that wine which sort of makes sense I guess I sort of suppose that's how wine works you know just make a bottle of wine and just have it straight away maybe that doesn't work so I know I know so little about wine <laughs> apart from that it's in bottles and you get it in red white and kind of the pink color um other than that I'm not really that familiar with wine let's just grab this quick Ah, there we go. Lovely, lovely strawberries. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll finish up for now. We'll come back. We'll build the big, big brewery thing with Bob. We'll check out how much the wine is uh, worth and what it's doing. And then that will kind of be it. 
because we will have covered this DLC. We will have covered all the aspects of it, all the new bits and bobs, and we'll, you know, that'll be fine. We'll see how it all works and how it all fits together. And um, yeah, then it'll be covered. And I think the next part will probably be the last for the foreseeable future anyway. But you know what? I don't know about that yet. We'll see what happens next time. The uh, big brewery thing might be a revelation, possibly. It may well be a revelation. Oh, let's just find this person very quickly. Who was it? Jake. <laughs> Come on then, Jake. Where are you? Jake Walters. There you are. Let me deliver a package to you. There you go. There you go. As well as running a farm, I also do delivery services. I'm like Amazon. 134. That was an expensive delivery charge there, but there we go. So uh, yes, let's wrap it up for now. I hope you're still enjoying this. If you are, then please do leave a like. And also, as always, please do subscribe just to keep up to date with how we get on in Farm Manager 2018. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. This sports car is indeed illegal. You clearly couldn't see the sign saying no cars. I have found the place where I am going to live forever. The Tea and Biscuits Cafe. I want to rename the dog. Uh, let's call it uh, Waffles. Waffles McBark. Behold the power of the blimp.